The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives has a rich and exceptional past as a leader in law enforcement intelligence. From interrupting and busting bootleggers during Prohibition, to taking down mob killers, to infiltrating dangerous gangs, ATF has been on the front line against violent crime. Part of that history includes those individuals who paved the way for the many that followed in the pursuit of justice. To that end, Elizabeth Smith Friedman was key to the efforts of federal law enforcement then and now. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives dedicated the headquarters auditorium to Elizabeth Smith Friedman, a pioneer in cryptology and intelligence gathering. ATF provides intelligence that can be obtained nowhere else. The analysis of that intelligence by interagency task forces and fusion centers throughout the country provides a powerful tool for fighting violent crime. And it's particularly fitting that the National Headquarters Auditorium is being named in honor of Elizabeth Smith Friedman. Elizabeth Friedman's story is unique, one that placed her in a time and place where women were restricted on many different fronts. But Elizabeth was not someone who understood limitations. After graduating college in Michigan, she hit the ground running, decoding Shakespearean literature for encrypted passages. She then served during World War I as a codebreaker, and after the war, in the Coast Guard Prohibition Unit, fighting the meteoric rise in organized crime. For the first time, at the federal level, this threat called for a national strategy that implemented cooperation and coordination and most importantly, developed and enhanced the function of intelligence and intelligence sharing among all of the federal law enforcement agencies. Through the years that followed, Elizabeth Smith Friedman was considered at the tip of the spear in U.S. intelligence gathering. Her efforts in operations that included some of the very first wiretaps, her code-breaking acumen, and her ability to piece together intelligence from multiple agencies led to the prosecution of those involved in organized crime and high-level conspiracies. But her story does not end there. Elizabeth Smith Friedman's innovative and groundbreaking work carried over to many agencies long after she had broken her last code. Today's law enforcement efforts embrace the fundamental research and intelligence gathering that Elizabeth pioneered. Look no further than the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives to see that in action. ATF Director Todd Jones spoke to the importance of today's law enforcement intelligence gathering and sharing, something he said Friedman laid the foundation for. I think that it's more than fitting um, that her name go on this auditorium because of the contributions that she's made. She was damn good at what she did. The Elizabeth Smith Friedman Auditorium is located at the headquarters of the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives in Washington, D.C. This 300-seat facility is the center of training, awareness and creativity. The men and women of ATF are proud to recognize Elizabeth's contributions as a pioneer in intelligence-led policing.